Hey friends, tonight we are going to Jollywood Nights at Disney's Hollywood Studios and I am so excited. This is a separate ticket event much like Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party but instead in Hollywood Studios and they have so many cool holiday entertainment. They have a Jack Skellington sing-along, a show featuring the Muppets and a brand new ice skating show and I figured I'd make a video and share all of my experiences with you. We're going to go around the park checking out all the cool holiday festivities and trying some of the amazing food and I figured I'd let you know what I think of the night. So we're gonna eat some food, ride some rides, and have a beautiful Jollywood Nights kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful night tonight at Hollywood Studios. Temperatures are in the low 70s and the Christmas decorations are on already. It's gonna get dark quick because of daylight savings time and I'm excited to hang out all night showing you guys all of the holiday festivities. This is only the second time they've ever done Jollywood Nights. Last year was the first time they held this event. And like I said, it's a separate ticketed event. It could cost you anywhere from $159 to $179, depending on the night. And it goes on from 7.30 to 12.30. It's a five hour event, but nothing's included in it like food or beverage wise, everything you have to pay for. And I love all of the entertainment. I feel like it's geared to uh, the older crowd, you know, like the uh, Muppets uh, hosting the the holiday show and even the decorations they have like classic christmas characters and classic music playing and it kind of gets me all excited and uh, i'm excited to like i said share my experiences with you and check everything out new this year and let you guys know what i think of the event they just made the announcement that Jollywood Nights has begun and I came out to the front of the park because I wanted to show you how nice and decorated it is up here and it looks like almost everybody's already in the park so we kind of get to see everything all lit up without you know the crowds of people. Oh, look at all the way down at the center. You can see Jollywood Nights on the Chinese theater. And they're actually sending guests this way. Kind of like Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Got to take a side street. It'll probably drop us off right out on the sunset here. And I think they're leaving this open all night. So this is actually a quick way to get around. Wow. I kind of like it. They usually use this for overflow. Like when the Fantasmic lets out. Oh, look. They got the Jollywood Nights sign over here. Oh, that's cool. That's like, that's probably why a lot of people are still over here. They want to get photos of the sign there. It looks so fancy and glimmering. Jollywood has officially started, and I think we're going to get our first snack of the night here at the Red Car, the Starbucks at Hollywood Studios. They have an Agent P croissant in there and uh, a couple of other snacks. So, well, I guess we're going to start the night by snacking on some snacks. <laughs> The first treat of the night is going to be the Agent P croissant. Kind of looks like a waffle, but it's a croissant dipped in chocolate and uh, has a couple of other things in there too. And it looks a little small. Like it's like a very tiny croissant. A very tiny croissant. And then on top of the treat that we got inside uh, the trolley cart, I also got these little gingerbread bites. These are, uh, I think, being sold all around the park, and it's just a quick snack gingerbread bites so we're gonna try them but first let's dive on into this croissant here I hope it doesn't slide off and look there's a hat on top of the croissant there isn't that kind of cool I still feel like this is a waffle let's look at the back it is a waffle or is it a waffled croissant oh maybe so we'll find out I was hoping that it was gonna be a little bit flakier like baked in a buttery flaky crust and i'm not even too sure i think these are m&ms on there yeah they are m&ms i mean it's good but i think croissants are a little bit like way softer i think this is just too hard for my liking but i'm glad i got to try it now i'm gonna dive into the gingerbread bites these look very interesting look at this it's a nice little gingerbread uh, little snack oh they they come they crumble apart they are very crummy That's actually good. These gingerbread bites are a lot better than I thought they were gonna be. Probably the best gingerbread treat that I've had so far, only because I feel like gingerbread could be very dry. But these are very soft, delicious, and I, I definitely like them more than I like uh, the uh, croissant waffle here. So yeah, maybe I'll get another one of these as we're walking around. Even though I'm not a fan of the croissant, I still wanna eat the Agent P hat there. Look at, little tiny chocolate hat. 
here is the Jollywood Nights Guide for 2024. And like I said, lots of new entertainment. We've got the What's This? Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along, the Pixar Dance Party, Disney's Holidays in Hollywood, Glistening, the new ice skating show, taking the grace and skill of international champion skaters as they soar to original songs and fresh takes on Disney's favorites, Jingle Bell Jingle Bam, which is a really cool nighttime holiday fireworks uh, celebration, and then Sunset Seasons Greetings, the Twilight Story at the top of the Tip Top Club. I love that. That's over by uh, the Tower of Terror. Unwind in style at the Swinging Soiree while a live band performs holiday tunes. It's just going to be a cool night just hanging out and vibing. The show times for most of the shows aren't at the same time. I noticed that like the Tip Top Soiree starts at 7.15, the Sing Along is 7.15, and then the first skating show is 8.15, and then the Muppets uh, Holiday Special is at 8.15. So I think we're gonna try to do some of the earlier shows and then catch like the skating and the Muppets probably later in the evening because uh, they don't have earlier shows and it makes sense to do it that way. I think the biggest complaint last year is you were just hopping from one thing to another because you only have five hours and everybody wants to see everything, you know what I mean? Now we're gonna make our way down to the Tower of Terror to go to the Tip Top Soiree, the Tip Top Club. If you guys don't know, the Tip Top Club is actually in the queue there. The advertisement, it's supposed to be a elegant uh, like dancing area at the top of the Tower of Terror. And uh, they kind of made that come to life over here. And I'm excited to see if they added some more decorations, a live band I think they have there. And it's gonna be just like a nice area to hang out. Look at how beautiful the lights are around here. Honestly, I love Hollywood Studios during Christmas. Here it is, the Twilight Soiree. And the uh, Tower of Terror has a 13 minute wait right now. Wow, look at how beautiful it is. I think they just started doing sunset season greetings, but we're gonna make our way up here. Look at this. I love this. Oh, and then they got a couple of really awesome drinks. 1939 Royale, top floor daiquiri, sparkling pomegranate apple cider. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Oh wow, look at it over here. Look, it's so fancy. They don't have anything but drinks here, but I kind of would just hang out here and listen to the music and watch people dance. It's very cool, especially right outside the Tower of Terror. Celebrating the sounds of the season at the annual Twilight Soiree. Oh, we hope you'll grab yourself a little glass of up. You can take a little festive spin here out on the dance floor. Hey, boys, why don't we do a song just for the dancers tonight? Come on out, get your swing, swinging shoes on, and dance with Cookie and Chef. Come on, everyone. The Tip Top Club is a lot of fun, and like I said, I think they just have drinks and uh, just the music and like the atmosphere there. So I think we're gonna move along because I want to get to all the shows and also try some more food items. Since we're right here outside the Tower of Terror, I decided to stop to Hollywood Scoops because they have a bunch of really cool exclusive uh, food items. A peanut butter and jelly donut, Kermit's frozen banana sh uh, shake, and then they have a mistletoe uh, martini. I think I'm going to get the shake and the donut. Look at how cool this milkshake is. It actually has a little Muppet candy on the top. Frozen banana, perfect for Kermit. And then they have a peanut butter and jelly donut. I'm gonna try them both. I'm excited for all these snacks and they're like kind of creative. I think the snacks here so far at Hollywood Studios for Jollywood are probably better than all the snacks at Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. First things first, I want to try this milkshake because I don't want it to melt. And I love that they have a banana milk. I love banana milkshakes and I love the Muppets too. Oh, that is good. Very delicious. But it has something else in there other than banana. I have to say, I'm never a fan of the Hollywood scoops like milkshakes because I feel like they just come out of a machine and they, they taste warm, believe it or not. Like they're not ice cold, but this one is different. This one actually is very delicious and I'm glad I got it, but now 
I'm turning my attention to the peanut butter and jelly donut. Look at this, it's like a donut split in two. It's like a peanut butter and jelly donut sandwich. I love that. It's kind of perfect that they sell this with the milkshake because then it's like a peanut butter and jelly banana like combination there and I like it. Uh, there's a little bit too much peanut butter in there for my liking. I can tell already. When I make pe uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches at home, it's like a thin layer of peanut butter, not a glob like that. But I'm still going in on it. I don't know why I never thought about making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on like a plain donut before. It's so soft and delicious. And I didn't think I'd like all that peanut butter, but it's got good taste to it. A little messy though. And now I kind of want to try them together. That is a great combination. I think Elvis would approve. That donut and milkshake was great, and now the snow has started on Sunset Boulevard. And I don't want to walk all the way back down here, so I think I'm gonna stop at Fairfax now and try this holiday turkey popover. It's like a holiday uh, turkey dinner, but in a uh, little popover bread. And I already got it. Look at it. it looks really, really fancy. I kind of like this. I think it's gonna be good. They got mashed potatoes in there, gravy, everything you need. I'm half tempted just to scoop everything inside of the popover and eat it like a sandwich, but I think I'll take my time with this. Actually, you know what? No, nah, I'm doing it. I'm stuffing all that in there. The mashed potatoes, the cranberry. I'm putting it all in there and making a little sample. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. Honestly, this might be something that I'm gonna love because I do love turkey dinner, so here we go. This is absolutely amazing. It literally tastes like Thanksgiving Day, and I love it. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to love this so much. The turkey is perfect, the gravy, the mashed potatoes, and even the popover is so like flaky and delicious. I don't, I, I've never seen a popover turkey dinner. I usually like get these with like Yorkshire pudding. It's kind of like the same thing, but this is a hit. This is a winner. As of right now, this is probably my favorite holiday treat that I've had in any parks. This is so delicious. I'm so happy I got this. If they would serve this like all day at Hollywood Studios, I would easily come back and get this. But I think it's exclusively only for Jollywood. I'm pretty sure since it's on a Jollywood menu. If not, I'm coming back and getting one of these because it is way too good. All right, well, enough of the food business. I think we tried a good amount of the snacks. Now I want to do some of the entertainment, maybe walk around and try to see if we can see any of the characters out and about, and then we'll go back and try some more of the food. One thing I got to say, they stepped up their game with the food this year. They have so many options, and the things that I've had already were kind of amazing. There's the Phineas and Ferb meet and greet. I love how they have it right next to the tree. It's very cool. It's very uh, nicely holiday themed, but the line is pretty long. Phineas and Ferb has got a big uh, following. A lot of people love uh, watching the show. So I don't know if we're going to be able to wait for it, but it's nice that we saw it. I think we're just going to keep moving along, see if we can see any other character meet and greets. It's looking pretty empty in the park already, though. I like being able to walk around without anybody around because, you know what I mean, it's a limited capacity event. You should see this a lot. The wait times are like five minutes. I looked at Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It only said a five-minute wait. Here is a look at the wait times just about an hour after Jollywood Night started. And everything's just about a five-minute wait. Mickey and Minnie's five-minute. The Tower of Terror is a 13-minute, which means it's five minutes. Rock and Roller Coaster and Star Wars Rise of the Resistance have the highest wait times. Oh, wait, no. Toy Story does. And Olaf's got a 30-minute wait. Sadly, Slinky Dog Dash is closed, though. The newest show this year is Glisten, the ice skating show, and it's in front of the Chinese theater. Since we're walking that way, I think we're gonna go see the ice skating show and then kind of hang out in that area because Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam is at 10 p.m. and that's like the holiday fireworks show. So it's kind of nice that we're doing things in the same areas instead of just running back and forth. And then uh, we have the uh, Muppet Show, well, the holiday show uh, that's basically hosted from, like by the Muppets. I always thought it was like a full-blown like Muppet show but there are so many other Disney characters in it and I'm excited to show you that too along with everything else listen get ready because this dazzling display of holiday magic on ice begins in just 10 minutes
service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest. Soup to the door, hot hors d'oeuvres, why we only live to serve. Try the great stuff, it's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes! On the first day of Jolly, with my true love came to me, a brand new strand of garland and a topping for the tree. On the second day of Jolly, with my true love came to me, the brightest Oversized Christmas cards, a blow up Santa in the yard, fresh baked gingerbread house, cookie shaped like Mickey Mouse, an ugly Christmas sweater vest, decorating is the best! I love that ice skating show, and I think the like the, the music had to be original music because they were actually saying Jollywood, unless they just swapped the like words out. But I like the music and I like the dancing. It was really pretty with the lights too. And now that we're here, Jingle Bell Jingle Bam is going to be uh, going off. I think in the next couple minutes, so we'll probably just wait and watch the show. I'm excited. I used to love Jingle Bell Jingle Bam when it first came out, like five years ago and it was actually not like a separate ticket event they just played it every single night and it was so cool looks like everyone's lining up for jingle bell jingle bam i think like i said we're just gonna hang out in this area maybe we'll go get a gertie cookie since we have like five or six minutes and all we have to do is stand right here i want to get a gertie cookie I had to stop and get a Christmas Gertie cookie. Look at this. Well, I got two of them because I wanted to get one from my friend. I got three of them. I got one from my other friend there, too. Here, so. Isn't this so pretty? Yeah, this is Look at that. And now we get yeah. to eat cookies and watch the fireworks. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is. The moon is almost lined up right directly uh, in the center of the Chinese theater. And Jingle Bell Jingle Bam is going to be starring soon. It's one of those shows that start off with a big smash. I think they come out and they're like, Jingle Bell. Bell, jingle, bam! Get ready for a rockin' good time and enjoy Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam!
Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam was such a great show. I love that Nightmare Before Christmas gets some love here at Hollywood Studios. And I actually decided to save and wait my Gertie so I can eat it with you guys. Look at, isn't this such a great cookie? I love Gertie too. So uh, cheers to Gertie. I don't know why I did Gertie like that, but it's a pretty good cookie. I like the uh, icing. I, I think it's a little dry though, but that's usually how shortbread cookies are. I definitely need a water now, but I'm glad I got to try it. I think these are so cool and festive. I would get it even if it tasted bad, just cause I love you know, just cause I love Gertie so much. I ended up buying a new hat because I've been wanting to get this one for a while. And now it's snoping over here on Hollywood Boulevard. I love that. I love snoop in the parks. I don't know why, I just get excited because it reminds me of back home. Look at it, it's really coming down pretty hard now. Looks like we've got some more character meet and greets. Oh, it's Chip and Nail. Chip and Nail are up here. Wow, I love seeing everyone all dressed up. They look all fancy. Hi guys, nice seeing you again. Hi. <laughs> Look at that, Chip and Dale's over there dressed up. Rescue Rangers. And I think uh, somebody told me, and this is this is really cool, J5 Studios told me that Doctor Strange is doing a meet and greet in the Muppets courtyard. So I think I'm gonna walk back there to go see if that's true. He showed me videos and I think it's just so awesome because Doctor Strange, he did do a meet and greet here before, a long time ago in the park. So it'd be awesome if they actually brought him back. Take a look at how cool that is. The Sorcerer Supreme hanging out in Hollywood Studios. That's awesome. <laughs> Very cool. How you doing? Hi, Doctor Strange. Pleasure to see you. Pleasure to see you. How are you enjoying your night so far? Oh, I'm enjoying it. Perfect. Yeah. Have it's... you noticed anything suspicious in the area? Wong said there might be some uh, some threats to keep an eye on. I feel like someone stole Santa Claus. So someone stole Santa Claus. Yeah, kidnap. Yeah, kidnap Mr. Santa Claus. Oh, well, I'll <laughs> keep an eye on that. Help find the perpetrator. Oh. If you have any leads? Be sure to let me know. Okay. Okay, I'll make sure. And say hi to Wong for me. Oh, I will. <laughs> Thanks, Doctor Strange. Bye. 
I think that is so awesome. Doctor Strange with the surprise like meet and greet at Jollywood. Wow, they're really pulling out all the stunts here. This is great. What an amazing addition. I can tell you right now, this party has stepped it up. It really has become something that I'm just excited for. I got to do it maybe twice this year. Walking in, guys. Oh, screw just walking in. <laughs> I love that. I'm just hanging out there talking to Doctor Strange and then Scrooge walks by. Yo, I'm loving the characters here today. All right, well, now I think we got to start making our way down uh, Sunset so we can go see the uh, holiday show with the Muppets. I think that's the last show of the night. I was going to go see the uh, Jack Skellington sing-along, which is a really good show, but I think it's the same as last year, and I think I have to choose between one or the other. You know, we have reservations to go to the Brown Derby later on after the show, and I think by that time it might be closed. So I'm choosing the Muppets. The Hollywood Brown Derby is doing like a special jazzy Christmas inside there with a, like a menu only served for Jollywood nights. So we got a reservation for that as soon as we get out of the Muppet Show. But for now, we're making our way to the Theater of the Stars. Holidays in Hollywood. Look at the Muppets. I love that. Starring Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Kermit the Fog, Miss Piggy, Belle, and Princess Tiana. And uh, 11.15. Oh, wait. I thought it was 11.30. Uh-oh. <laughs> we just made it. Holy moly. We got to find a good seat. Miss Piggy, <laughs> and we are so honored to be co hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight. Come on, everybody! sense, but uh, we're kind of in the middle of a production here. We had to cut the others for time, remember? But I was going to do a whole pink Christmas thing! You know, like White Christmas, but more aesthetically moi. Yeah, well, I, you know, I, I really think that we ought to check with Joe from Legal before we put that in front of an audience. Uh, we'll be back, folks! <laughs> You're lying! Please enjoy the gift of this next number! <laughs> Thank 
I love that show. I wish that we got a little bit closer, but we almost didn't make it at all. I was literally walking up. I probably put the clip in, but I thought the show was 11.30. I get up there, I'm like, oh yeah, they got a couple show times, 11.15. And it was exactly 11.13 when I said that. So I had two minutes to get all the way up to the Hollywood uh, Theater of the Stars, and we made it. But we were pretty much all the way back, and you couldn't see the Muppets. But they were there, and it was actually a really good show. And now I think we're going to make our way over to the uh, Hollywood Brown Derby. Here it is, Jazzy Holidays at Hollywood Brown Derby, featuring the smooth sounds of St. Nick. Now, I'm excited. Like I said, the food here is always amazing. Add a little holiday twist to it, count me in. We came last year, and I remember the menu was like almost the same as they served like regular during the day, but uh, I've heard a lot of good things so far tonight, so I'm excited for some good food. Well, this is just a cozy way to end the night. I'm liking the music there. Very nice and relaxing. And I was thinking about getting a hot cocoa. Look at this, they have a uh, holiday Mickey hot cocoa. I think that sounds interesting, but I've already had a lot of sweet treats today. And then here's the regular menu. They've got some jazzy holiday sliders, a charcuterie, some pork belly bao buns, a nice good mix. So we're gonna try some of it. I ended up getting the special holiday Mickey hot cocoa, and it actually has a little brownie in it. Look at that. So fancy sitting here drinking hot cocoa, listening to some jazz music. I kind of like the way the night ended. Oh, and the food's here. Oh, that's good hot cocoa. I joined up with some friends, Phoebe, Pixie Dusted Phoebe, if you don't uh, remember from the videos before, and then uh, the rest of a couple more friends. Yeah. We all got some food and it's looking nice. We got chicken wings, charcuterie, some of the bao buns, and I got the holiday sliders. A very wholesome, cozy night at the Brown Derby. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we go. A nice little holiday slider. I love this, and I think it's bison and pork. And then they have a nice little onion jam on there. And I love the food here, like I said, so I'm sure this is gonna be good. A little too much lettuce there. If they served this uh, slider every day at the Brown Derby, I probably would come and get it every single time I come to Hollywood. It is so good. The bison and pork, great you know, combination there. I love it. And with that, I think we are done here today. The Hollywood Brown Derby was amazing. Actually, overall, Jollywood was amazing. I had such a great time tonight. It was very like empty in here, and uh, I like that they dispersed all of the activities so it wasn't all on sunset like I was saying before and it made it less crowded. I love how you can just casually sit back. We didn't even ride any rides tonight. We just watched shows, ate food and kind of relax and listen to Christmas music. And such a great way to end the night at the Brown Derby. Listening to that music, drinking some hot cocoa. I like it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Let me know if you guys think the party's gotten better and if you think it's worth the price. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.